good. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon the Hybrid Guy, and today I'm gonna teach you how to bring your trailer from chalky to bulky. Cameraman, come over here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna show you guys right now, I'm gonna take the camera from you real quick, is how to bring that shine back to your trailer. This trailer is 16 years old. See, I did this section today and you can see yourself in it. Now, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to pick up on the camera. What I wanna show you here is the transition, which I think you can see from where I've done and where it needs to be done. I'm gonna show you a simple process on how to bring the camper back. Back from the dead. So you get a trailer and it's a little bit chalky. You start freaking out, it looks old. What do I do? Oh no, I'm at the mercy of a detail guy. Well, maybe, but I'm gonna show you a simple process that I've been doing. I've been detailing for probably eight years now, uh, specializing in gel coat. So now the outside of a fiberglass trailer and or boat is gel coat. It is not clear coat, okay? So you don't wanna get those two things confused. Gel coat is a lot thicker on top of fiberglass than clear coat is on top of car's paint. So it's a little bit easier to work with. So I'm gonna show you uh, a few simple tools and you don't need anything super expensive. It's all about your technique. So right here, I have a drill master buffer. This one is from Harbor Freight. You can pick one of these up for 40 bucks. But what pad we're going to use is a wool pad. This is a what's called cutting pad. And when you're compounding, it's what's called cutting. So what causes that oxidation in the trailer? Well, over the years, it's all the dirt and soot and the UV that bakes down on the gel coat. So what we actually have to do is we're gonna remove a tiny, tiny top layer to bring that shine back. You can do this many, many, many times, many years, until you would actually get down to the fiberglass. Now, compounding is only something you wanna do every now and then. When we're done compounding, we're going to cover your camper with wax. Now the wax is a protectant, it'll also help that shine but it's a protectant from the element so that it can't get that chalky again. And a lot of people miss this step when they buy a camper. And this is the issue. So over the years, this is what happens to the trailer. You gotta keep up with it. So if you keep up with it, it'll keep up with you. It's a big investment and you wanna make sure you take care of it. So we're gonna start off with a wool pad on our buffer. And what I use right here is, my camper is a little bit heavy. So this is a Meguiar's RV Marine number 49 oxidation remover okay so this is going to be a medium to heavy cut but not a full heavy cut um, this is a pretty easy product to work with and this is the way i do it you're going to get yourself some applicator pads so you can pick these up at, at harbor freight at advanced auto parts or any auto store near you we're going to put some down on the pad and we're going to do an area so now i'm back here we're going to start right here what we do is we just spread it around and work it in there. You can actually hear how gritty it is. And that's the compound that's gonna start eating into all that dirt. I wanna work a small section. So it is working pretty good. Now I'm on a, it's a pretty hot day out. I think it's about 75, almost 80 degrees today. So we don't have to let this sit long to dry. Um, and we're gonna start with the buffer on a low speed. When you're compounding, you wanna cut on a lower speed. You wanna really make sure that compound works in. This is not a waxing step. A waxing step will be a more of a high speed. So we take our buffer and what we're gonna do is side to side movements. And then we're going to go up and down. And that's gonna make sure that we don't have a hazing effect back and forth. Um, and I'll make sure that we cover all the spots. So I'm starting off on between speed three and four. That's my preference. You can find what works best for you. So here we go.
right, that's it. We want to apply just like a, a medium pressure. You want to let the buffer do most of the work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a clean towel and wipe off the excess. And you can go ahead here and you can see that shine of a difference. I'll seal the camera from you real quick, cameraman. And we can see right here where I did it. There's where it's not done. And there's where it's done again. You can see that shine. Look at that shine. Absolutely beautiful. You can see a mirror image. Yeah. Give the camera back. So that is a quick uh, video on how to compound your camper. Like I said, fiberglass is pretty forgiving. You don't want to apply too much pressure. You also don't want to hold the buffer in one spot for too long. You can burn it. And at that point, you will need to wet sand that burn mark out and it's a little difficult. If you guys run into one of those situations, leave a comment down below. I can make another video or you can privately message me and I can show you how to go about wet sanding. This is for a lightly to heavy oxidized surface. This one's not super bad, but it's pretty bad. So stay tuned for the next video where then I'll show you how to follow up with wax. Like, subscribe if you have any questions. Again, comment down below. Thanks guys, see you next time.